Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos every two days. So please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, you hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest upload. How is it going everyone? Welcome back nga sa aking channel. Kumusta kayo? Kumusta mga araw nyo? Now for today's video is another entry natin sa ating nursing cheat sheet. Now another entry natin to for this playlist and let this be your nursing study guide. Now I created, uh, I'm trying to add more things, short videos. Um, on this playlist um, to help you with your studies. Now, on this one, I'm thinking of nag-iisip ako kung ano pa yung mga bagay na pwede natin i-cover for you para mas mapadali yung buhay mo sa nursing uh, school at sa pag-refresh ng knowledge. Now, I decided to create common drugs and their antidotes. Nako, pharma. Yes, ngayon, before I further proceed, I would just like to invite you to please, kung hindi pa mag-subscribe ka na sa website, mag-subscribe ka na sa channel ko, and is, uh, hit mo na yung notification bell. Share this video para naman mas marami yung makakaalam regarding sa channel na to, at mas marami tayong ma-reach, mas marami tayong matulungan. Because that's the main intention why we're doing what I am doing, why I started this channel in the first place, to do a lot of service consents for all of you guys. Lalo na sa mga kabaro ko dyan sa nursing. Ngayon, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Let me proceed with a formal discussion. Now, uh, before anything else, let me define to you what is an antidote. An antidote, you guys, is a substance that can counteract a form of poisoning. The term antidote is a Greek word meaning given against. This post will help you to familiarize yourself with the common antidotes that are used in the hospital setting. The following are the antidotes that should be familiarized by the nurse to respond to this emergency situation quickly. Malino ba sa yon? Malino. Kaya I think this is very important. Um, that's why I decided to make this uh, type of video this um what's this lecture material for you review material for all of you guys wait let me fix my microphone ayan medyo malino ba malina ito na tayo our first antidote is acetylcysteine brand name mucomist that's our antidote this is indicated to overdosage of acetaminophen tylenol and paracetamol very familiar. Once again, that is your acetylcysteine, which is the antidote for acetaminophen, Tylenol, paracetamol intoxication. Now, what is the mode of action? This restores depleted glutathione stores and protects against renal and hepatic failure. Once again, once you administer acetylcysteine to a patient, Post acetaminophen, paracetamol, and Tylenol um, intoxication. It will help. The acetylcysteine restores the depleted glutathione stores and protects against renal and hepatic failure. Malino ba sa inyo yon? Malino. Next, we have your antidote activated charcoal. Once again, that's your activated charcoal. So, back, um, saan mo binibigay yung uh, activated charcoal? Pag meron kang intoxication, which is non-specific poisons except cyanide poisoning, iron poisoning, lithium poisoning, caustics, and alcohol. So, pwede rin pala yung activated charcoal for alcohol intoxication or alcohol poisoning. Lithium poisoning. Ano ba ang mode of action ng activated charcoal? Absorption of drug in the gastric and intestinal tracts. This absorbs the... When you administer activated charcoal, it goes directly to your intestinal tracts, GI tracts, and it will absorb the drug itself. Now, interrupts the enterohepatic cycle and multiple dose. 
Once again, that's activated charcoal, an antidote for non-specific poisons except cyanide, iron, lithium, caustics, and alcohol. All right, next one we have a deuterol inhaler, insulin and glucose, bicarbonate of soda, and kayaxalate. All right, again, that's albuterol inhaler, insulin and glucose, bicarbonate of soda, and kayaxalate. Ito yung kanyang chemical name ha, itong NH, NAHCO3. So, bakit mo, o oh, saan mo ginagamit itong antidote na to, itong albuterol inhaler? For potassium. Potassium poisoning or potassium intoxication. Ah, kaya pala sa hospital setting, kapag mataas ang potassium, nagbibigay rin tayo ng correction through albuterol inhaler and then insulin. Dextrose D50, tama? Yes, for potassium um, indication or po a high potassium level. Malina ba yun? Once again, your antidote is albuterol inhaler. Um, insulin and glucose, bicarbonate of soda, and k uh, kayaxalate, kayaxalate, which is given for, indicated for potassium overdosage or high potassium level. Next antidote, which is the last one, you have your, not last one, but the second to the last. <laughs> Next, you have your atyl um, anticholinesterase agents. This is an antidote used for neuromuscular blockage, paralytics. Once again, anticholinesterase agents, which is an antidote for neuromuscular blockage. May emphasize ko lang, ano-ano ba yung mga example ng neuromuscular agents mo or neuromuscular blocking agents, yung NBAS. Now, this come into two forms, depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents. Example nito, yung succinylcholine and non de de uh, depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents example nito yung rocorium vicorinium atracurium cisatracurium and mivacurium all right so those are the examples of your neuro uh, muscular blockage paralytics again that's your anticholinesterase agents an antidote for neuromuscular blockage uh, paralytics all right so next one you have, which is the last one for this video, you have your atropine sulfate or pralidoxime. Again, atropine sulfate or sulfate or pralidoxime. An antidote used for anticholinesterase. Ano bang mode of action ito? Competitive inhibition of muscarinic receptors. Once again, that's your atropine sulfate or uh, pralidoxime indication uh, indicated for anticholinesterase intoxication. Malina ba sa inyo yon? Malina. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Like I said, very short and quick itong video na ito. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung next upload natin after two days. Nako, very exciting po ito. Now, if you haven't uh, subscribe to my channel please please subscribe now and hit the notification bell kasi madalas na nga po ako nag upload every two days na nga po tayo nag upload pasasalamat ko sa inyo sa patuloy na pagsuporta nyo sa akin tulungan nyo na nga ako ipamalitan nyo na sa radyong sira ang pinakabago pinakafresh at ang pinakalibreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube and uh, you guys Please follow me in all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. I also have a Facebook page, and it's Neil Gave. The links to all my social media accounts, the playlist, all the links is on the description box. Check the one out. That's all for you. I'll see you again next time. You have a good one.